Ever pondered how your beloved classic gaming consoles measure up against each other? Today, we're diving deep into the history, features, and game libraries of some of the most iconic consoles to ever grace our television screens. We begin our journey with the Atari 2600, a true pioneer in the gaming world. This console, released in the year 1977, was the first of its kind, laying down the groundwork for all future gaming systems to come. It was a device that truly revolutionized not just gaming, but also our perception of entertainment. Imagine, if you will, a time before the internet, a time when the words online gaming were nothing more than a futuristic fantasy. It was a time when the arcade was the hub of gaming, where kids and adults alike would gather, quarters in hand, ready to tackle the latest high score. The excitement, the energy, the camaraderie, it was a phenomenon that was hard to replicate. And then came the Atari 2600. This game console, with its sleek and compact design, was a far cry from the massive arcade machines, yet it promised and delivered the same level of excitement and engagement right in the comfort of your own home. It was idea that was unthinkable, unheard of, and yet it was here, right in front of us, changing the landscape of gaming forever. The Atari 2600 was powered by a 1.19 MHz processor. To the uninitiated, this might seem insignificant, but in the world of late 70s technology, this was a milestone. It was a testament to how far we had come, a symbol of our progress. And it wasn't just the processor that was impressive. The console also boasted 128 bytes of memory. Again, by today's standards, this might seem laughably small, but at that time, it was a marvel of technology. This console was not just a machine, it was a library. A library that held some of the most iconic games of all time. Titles like Space Invaders, a game that took the world by storm with its simple addictive gameplay. And who could forget Pac-Man, a game that has become synonymous with the word retro, or Pitfall, a game that proved that even in the world of pixels a compelling narrative could be woven. Each of these games has left an indelible mark on the history of gaming, thanks largely to the platform that was the Atari 2600. However, the Atari 2600 was not without its flaws. In a world where graphics and sound capabilities are considered the Atari 2600's offerings were rather lacklustre. The graphics were blocky and lacked detail, while the sound was often muffled and lacked depth. Even the controls, which were innovative for their time, left a lot to be desired in terms of precision and responsiveness. But despite all of these shortcomings, the Atari 2600 holds a special place in our hearts and in the annals of gaming history. Its primitive graphics and sound capabilities make it the least impressive on our list today. Next up we have the Sega Genesis. Introduced in 1989, this console was Sega's answer to Nintendo's growing dominance in the gaming market. The Genesis boasted a 7.6 MHz processor, a significant leap from the Atari 2600. It also offered a richer audio-visual experience thanks to its 16-bit graphics and superior sound chip. With a game library that includes classics like Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, the Genesis certainly left its mark on the gaming landscape yet it falls short when compared to our first place contender. Finally, we arrive at the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES for short. Launched in 1983, the NES is often credited with reviving the home video game industry after the crash of 1983. Its 1.79 MHz processor may seem underpowered compared to the Genesis, but it more than made up for it with its game library. Titles like Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, and Metroid not only define the NES, but the entire gaming industry. The immersive gameplay, memorable music and iconic characters make the NES our top pick among classic gaming consoles. In summary, while the Atari 2600 blazed the trail for home gaming, its limited capabilities make it the least impressive of our trio. The Sega Genesis, with its powerful processor and rich game library, comes in at a respectable second place. But it's the NES, with its iconic games and influence on the industry, that takes the crown as the best classic gaming console. Remember, these rankings are subjective and based on hardware, features and game libraries. Your personal favourite might be different, and that's the beauty of gaming. It's all about what sparks joy and nostalgia for you. So there you have it, a deep dive into three of the most iconic classic gaming consoles. It's fascinating to see how far we've come in the world of gaming, and it's always fun to look back at the consoles that started it all. 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more gaming review content coming in the future. Until next time, happy gaming.